Hey everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another video with me in the car. Going to do another food review for everybody. And today I'm going to be doing something that I just found out about thanks to a video that came out yesterday from one Poppy Eats. Uh, he went here and he tried it out. And this is the new chicken sandwich from Church's Chicken. It comes in original and it comes in spicy. I'm going to try a few bites from both, tell you what I think. First off, one uh, mistake he made was sticking around and filming around the area of a church's chicken, which uh, you go to a church's chicken, you get your food, and you leave. It's not a place you stick around for any circumstance unless you're looking for something else besides chicken. Anyway, I'm away from the church's chicken, and I'm going to be reviewing these two sandwiches. So, church's chicken used to have a different chicken sandwich before this one. They had like a flat, like a school cafeteria chicken patty type chicken sandwich. And it was, it was like on a cheap bun like a cheap sesame seed bun and it came with lettuce and it came with mayonnaise and every time I've ever ordered it they never had lettuce I think it was the only thing on the menu that used the lettuce uh, it was the only sandwich they had and never did they have lettuce and uh, so I never really got the full experience of it even though in and of itself it was just a cheap chicken patty, flat, reformulated together, chicken paste, then seasoned and breaded. This one, as you can see, is a full piece of chicken. It's got three pickles all located in one location. You got your mayo. On the bottom you have more mayo. And this bun is supposed to be like a honey brioche. Oh, like this chicken like you see those dark marks here what is that all about right here almost looks like a fried chicken liver well we should just take a bite of that part then there we go It's definitely dark meat. I feel like the chicken, it kind of looks dry. It kind of, it kind of feels a little dry. It doesn't feel like they just made this. Um, and when I went in there, they had like all their vats full of, full of fried chicken. Like they weren't, nothing in there seemed like it just, had just came out. They just looked like they were stockpiling for like an, a chicken apocalypse or something. And they just had piles of chicken everywhere so I don't think this was made in the immediate uh, recency I'm gonna try to get a bite with one of these pickles on it I'm gonna move the pickle to the head look how thin that is compared to for example, the Popeye's chicken sandwich. You're going to get a lot less meat on this one. It's not bad. The seasoning on the chicken is good. There's still a good amount of crunch on that breading. The Popeyes one is just way better. Um, both size, juiciness, and overall flavor, the Popeyes one is just above and beyond this. The, the Popeyes, every ingredient tastes better. The pickles, the chicken, the bun. Not saying this is a bad chicken sandwich, but 
it's no replacement for the Popeyes and probably the you know Chick-fil-A is a, a different thing altogether but Chick-fil-A is probably better than Church's as well the Church's chicken sandwich I'm gonna give that a seven and a half out of ten as we move on to the spicy see it says scan and squeeze spicy mayo free jalapeno I don't know if the, the if you scan that, you get a coupon for a free jalapeno, but they give you a jalapeno. You have to do some work yourself here. So I take it out of the packaging, open her up. First thing you notice, there's a spicier sauce. I'm not sure if the chicken itself is spicy. There's more sauce on the bottom as well. But here's what they tell you to do. They say take your jalapeno open up the sandwich like so pinch the ends of the sandwich and drip all that jalapeno juice right on top save that for later flop the top back on and now we're ready to taste the Popeye's spicy chicken sandwich. I go with the part that's sticking out. Definitely has some spice to it. We've got a pickle bite. It does look like the chicken itself has some spice in it. As you can see, I don't know if it's picking up here, but there's like some redness inside of the chicken where beyond the the sauce. Let's give a bite with the pickle. I don't know if you can see that last bite. I tried to bite through it, but like pulled some more chicken out. And that's because the chicken is kind of tough. If it was nice, juicy, and tender, you'd be able to clean bite through it. Even if it's crunchy, the, the big difference between crunchy and, and hard, it's hard, you might get a crunch eventually after you snap it off. But tender and crunchy means you can bite through it you get all the crunch as you're biting through it, but your teeth eventually meet each other and you bite a clean piece off. I have one other thing I wanna try. I ended up getting strawberry Fanta. I wanted to get uh, a sweet tea. They have it all over the menu that they have sweet tea, just like any kind of like Southern chicken place. Like, oh, we don't have sweet tea. Okay, um, so what else is on the menu? Oh, they got grape soda. I'll try that. No, they don't have grape soda either. So she points over to the machine. Looks like the labels are from the 80s. And they had uh, orange and red Fanta. All your basic Cokes. And uh, I think red high C punch. So I got the uh, red Fanta. It was like my third choice. All right. Let's get the next part out. Um, the spicy chicken sandwich, I'm going to give that one an 8.2 out of 10. I like it better than the regular, just because the heat adds a little bit of something extra. But still, the quality and the size of the chicken is just a lot lower. It's, it's a big step below... Popeyes and Chick-fil-A. So this is the frosted biscuit. Typically their biscuits already have like a honey glaze on top of them so they're already a lot sweeter than other places biscuits but now they're selling this as a dessert item by putting frosting on top and I'm interested so let's taste it. Also it's starting to rain. 
Mm. This is very light and fluffy. And the middle. The outside of the biscuit is a little tough. Again, I think, I think uh, that a lot of the, the food that I ordered probably isn't really extremely freshly made. Just everything has a little bit of toughness to it, you know. It, it's been sitting out. The skin's skin, uh, the skin of everything out of the fryer has gotten a chance to, you know, mellow with the air around it cool down a bit so it can get structure back to it and uh, harden up a bit you know the biscuit it's pretty good it's sweet but again it's not fresh I'm gonna give the biscuit an 8 out of 10 solid 8 out of 10 that's it for this video hope you enjoyed it um, if you were a big fan of Chick-fil-A sandwiches or Popeye sandwiches. If you're in the area and it's convenient, go ahead and try the church's chicken sandwich. Um, if you're only going to get one uh, and you're torn, I would choose the spicy. If spicy is not the thing for you, then of course go with the regular. But if you're tossing up between the two, the spicy one is the better one, in my opinion, if you like spice. Uh... If it's not convenient for you, I think this is definitely something that you could skip. Um, there wasn't a lo long line for it. The people that were in front of me ordering weren't ordering this. They were all ordering different uh, chicken combos, so it's not like something like the Popeye sandwich where everyone wants to try it. And I think there's a reason for that. Churches is known more for their specials, their daily deals, and they know on, on Tuesday they're going to get the four for four with three thighs and a leg, and they know exactly how much money they need to bring in with them. That's the kind of place uh, churches is. Not knocking them, that's just what it is. Uh, anyway, I think that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and uh, start watching more of my videos. I need to, I'm almost to the thousand subs, but I'm still lagging behind in the hours that I need. Uh, so put me on repeat and then walk away when you go to the bathroom or something. Help me out here, people. That's it for this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.